Hola, I'm Aiden, and I haven't uploaded in a little while. First of all, I'm lazy. Second of all, I haven't had ideas. Finally gonna get around to making a video on the biggest purchase I've ever made. This case. And stickers. No, it's what's in it. All the stickers were free. On this side, I have Nerf stickers. I have Orange Mod Works, Foam Blast, Make Test Battle, Orange Mod Works again. There's another Orange Mod Works up here. No counter out of Darks Containment Crew. And an old turf sticker that has lost all its stick and it's held on with packaging tape. On the other side are less important non Nerf stickers. But, we don't really care about the outside of the case. At least I don't think you do. We really care about is what's inside. My Calibern. You've already probably seen it in my video installing the nail part of the tooth and nail. Because Derek is awesome and I know him, so I can get just the I got just the seer. So yeah, again, it's really nice. I think I talked about that a lot in the video. Here I just want to check out the Calibern in general. It's really nice. It was printed for me by the Palmetto Foam Flingers. Um, I will put a link to their Facebook page down in the description. They do commissions. Um, this was one of them, and he was able to save me a little money, um, even though it was shipping, even with shipping. Um, in mine, I'm running K25 because I can, I can prime a K26 just fine, but I feel like I, I can... I get tired of heavy a heavy prime because I it's an old video but I used a 16 kilogram triple shot all day one more and my arm hurt after that couldn't do to use it and it eventually broke um, so I decided I wanted less stress on the parts that's also part of the reason I bought the sear I don't want it wearing down over time because I don't have a 3d printer yet Ooh. Um, but yeah, also, I don't want to hurt my arm after using it, so it's a, actually like a really easy prime. I can do it with just my pointer finger. Let me see if I can do it with my pinky. Ah, I can't do it with my pinky. It hurts. But it's a really easy prime. Um, you also notice I have the I-LMAO grip on it. However, I don't grab it like a vertical grip. I hold it like this. Um, that's just how I feel comfortable priming it. I don't really like going like that. I, I don't know why. It's just I got that because it extends and kind of becomes an AFG. And it adds a little extra color with the red. In case you couldn't tell, the colors are... Oh, goodness. This light makes it look almost white. But if I move up lamp over a little bit you can see it's yellow with red and there's some brown at the back if you didn't figure that out um, it's supposed to be a pizza because that's me um, the back end is brown as close as I could get to pizza crust they don't really have like pizza crust color also brown is a lot more common um, so it was just easier I also got I recently got uh, these parts printed by Crow, the SCNC. This part, I don't know what it's called, and the iron sights. I do like the iron sights. I just wish they were at a 45 degree angle because I hold it like this. But oh well, it works. Um, it's really comfortable. You notice the handle looks kind of bad. There we go. Because I sanded it because it was a little bit rough. You can see that in other spots. Um, because of Bob's printer, but it's still pretty nice. I just had to do a little bit of sanding on the handle, and it's super comfy. Um, it's got a nice trigger pull, particularly with the nail. Um, it gives a much nicer click. Um, it's, again, easy prime. Um, you can deprime it, which is really nice. Um, mag release. It gravity drops just fine. Um, I have a few darts in here just to kind of test. Um, I might do a proper range test in a later video, but here's three elites. They work pretty well. Um, an Aki Strike dart. Three Adventure Force darts. And this 
third one is a waffle Avenger Force. It doesn't work quite as well. I have an E-Kind Waffle Dart. Ow. It was... Oh. There was a little strand. A filament. You can really see it. It poked me. Ow. Um, and then the next five are actually Accu... Accu Sykes? I like to call them that. Um, we are the Rebellion. They're not Accu Fakes. Um, because that's what the SNC community bin is mostly. So, I mean, it's cool if it performs well with the other darts, but really what matters is if, if it performs well with Accu Sykes for me. That one blew the head off. It's really powerful. It's getting around 170 FPS. Um, probably because I do not have an O-ring pusher. It's still an aluminum pusher, but it's not... Um, it doesn't have the O-rings. I do plan on eventually getting the O-ring one. I mean, it's only 15 bucks. Probably going to ask it for, for it for Christmas because I've heard tons of good things about it. I'm not sure why I ended up with the one that doesn't have O-rings. But it's not a huge deal. Um, one thing, the screws right here that connect these metal bars to the uh, pusher, back of the pusher, yeah, go forward slide. These, you need to keep those tight because unless I know you can, like see there it's a little wobbly. Um, and it's already starting to do it again where when you pull it forward, it hits. See how it moves up there a little bit? Where it hits the, um, the barrel. And it's actually worn down my pusher a little bit. Um, so, yeah, you got to keep those screws tight. I know you can, um, I know I got, a, I know a friend who bought, um, a pusher that's all aluminum. Like the pusher and this part. So it's one piece. And so that it's not really going to do that. Um, I'm not going to get the full aluminum piece, but I do plan on getting an O-ring pusher in the future as it boosts performance. I know you can, like, with this same setup, K25, you can get around 200-ish, um, but I'm only getting 170 FPS, even with worker darts. I do not have my katana magazines yet. I am getting katana magazines very soon. But it works really well with the worker darts, even though, um... I do not have the mags, um, and it's even getting lower FPS. The worker darts are still getting well, like a, a over a hundred feet flat, um, which is pretty nice. I was able to tag people from all the way across the field with this. They're also dead accurate. Um, I got rushed by a rapid strike. I'm talking about you, Taryn, and he just comes up to me. Pow! You are dead. And I was single loading because I didn't have my mags yet. So it even works single loading. It's pretty nice. Which I'm... Well, actually... No, never mind. Oh, well. Um, I should have some gameplay footage with, with this because I'm going to the NIC War this weekend. Hope to see some of you there. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a little while. Adios. And Max.